You want some copyright infringement? I got it right here for you. Oh, it's lit already? Yeah, hey, it's, what? it's been on. Oh, shit. What up, what up, what up? So, yeah, pee my, pee my uh, gas tank, yeah. We're on that hood shit for real. They've been real petty. <laughs> real petty like. Yeah. So, we're on the way to Crackle Barrel. Let's see what the menu has to offer for today. <laughs> You already know what the menu is over there. It's the same shit every time we go there. I don't love Cracker Barrel, but my family does. So I'm finna go over there and probably get some uh, some fried fish or something like that, man. Mm. So. And I just got my truck back from the shop. Um, $800 down in it. And I took it home yesterday, parked it, turned it back on. No go. No luck. Fuck! And that's what happens, you can take your car to the mechanic. They're there to milk you for your money. Bunch of scam artists. But, yeah. What did you think of the uh, the John Jones fight yesterday? I think that shit was sad. <laughs> I think it was, it was heartbreaking watching him cry. Yeah. But I guess John Jones is that dude, huh? He's that, he's the Michael Jordan of the light heavyweight division. Yeah, I was saying that yesterday. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, how do you go from taking two years off, you know, I mean, I'm sure he was lifting and training every day, but taking two years off from the big lights to just go in there and and whoop DC's ass like that. DC was doing pretty good in the beginning of the fight though. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. confident, he was sweeping he was. him, but... But you know, those leg kicks of John Jones, they're just nasty like i've never been i've never seen another fighter be able to pull those off like that you know what i mean so uh i think dc was anticipating those knee kicks and he went down to block it and um he went down to block it and jones faked him and you know you guys saw what transpired there so i want to so shout out to this truck bro i want to know what people think in the comments. I want to see their opinion if they do see this video. And they do watch UFC. Yeah. I want to see. Juan called me up. He told me Is there that, a pump on the other side of that motherfucker? I'm not sure. But Juan called me up and he told me that um, he was heartbroken as well. <laughs> oh, shit. And he's not, he's not a, he's a DC fan? Yeah, he's both. But I guess he was heartbroken when he saw this guy crying. Yeah. Yeah, good. Shit, shit fucked him up, huh? I would have told those guys to move their fucking truck, but they look like Mexican cartel members. I'll say that. And they probably would have wet us up. We're in Homestead. This is their land. This is their turf. That's true. All right, I'm going to go pump some gas. Go put that gas. It takes forever. Fucking guy takes forever to pump his gas. Shake a leg, asshole. No, so this weather lately. Florida. It's just been gray, kind of whack. Nice and humid. Get a good ball sweat going on over here. Alright, so we just stopped here at the gas station. I wanted to get a Diet Snapple. And they didn't have no Diet Snapple, man. How come every time you go to the hood stores, they don't got nothing healthy, no Snapple, no Diet Cokes, nothing. All they got in that shit is Welch's grape fucking drink, fucking beer, all different kinds of beers, and fucking regular red sodas and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Some of us can't be having all that sugar. What are you gonna do? So I got my truck back. Now my truck was slammed, right? Uh, the previous owner had cut the springs and had it lowered. And while the truck sits real nice like that, the ride was just horrendous, man. Like you couldn't go over, uh, you couldn't go over like a, a hill or a hump or a, even a sewer without the without the the car just you know just boom, boom just a nasty slam or whatnot. So I took it to the mechanic and I had it put back up to you know factory. Uh, factory specs and now it's saucy you know what i'm saying shit glides so check it out check out my t too we got the uh savage shit with the marlins i got some new tommy denim and i'm rocking my nmds man check it out but all right let's check out the uh let's check out the truck You 
see now there's like a big gap. Before that was like slammed. That's how the car is sitting now. It's like, uh, you know, it's my second car. I don't really commute with it because it's really bad on gas. So I just kind of use it to ride around on my days off. And I swore to myself I wasn't going to customize cars no more because it's just a money pit. And, you know, I've, I've customized a lot of cars in my life. And it's always a headache, you know, especially here in Miami. There's not a lot of good, like, custom car places where you can go and, you know, get good quality work. It's always some foo-foo shit, so I said I wasn't going to do it, but little by little I see myself falling back into it. But, alright, we're off to Cracker Barrel. Fresh squeezed lemonade. It's time to work. I've already downed like three of these. I got a serious case of the itis after that, bro. Ooh, something about that fried chicken. It was moist. Yeah, it was, it was good. I'm um, sleepy after that. Yeah? But. What type of tea do you have at your house? Green matcha. Want some of that? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back to the lab. See you guys there. All right, so, uh. This is my new bike right here. Copped it, it's a Sabrosa Salvador BMX bike. So, I copped it this week, so I'm gonna take it for a quick ride around my hood. See how it rides. Come with me. Let's check it out. Niggas rope, don't put your neck in it Got my troops in off-white boots Pulled up, I had my foot hanging out the coop Off-white flannel, looking like a lumberjack With the 30 popper, you don't want none of that D-square, apron over D-squares Ronnie Fag, I need size 9 and never pay Do a nigga filthy for the right price Don't parry on the lobster and the fried rice Scrape the pots for the extras Bodies dropping on the regular Run 
left around these other rap niggas for fun That fashion week with the M1, y'all niggas bumps Killer designer, serial killer Niggas thought I was just rhyming illa Then I pulled out the stick, run your jewels, run the money You try to run and hop the fence Tore us back up like junior nigga, filthy rich Watch my sins with Ace A law you walk by all this work is flake I'ma be fly forever if the stove work She sniffing so much molly, that bitch no sir I was on the path, getting money on the ass Fiends, Millie Rock is seeing out my work glass If shit slow up, I'ma look prettier in the mask The cracks in the chip bag, the Mac by the trash The 45 look big on his forehead Shot him more times, left that nigga more dead So I just made it back from that quick little bike ride. See how the bike rode and the bike rides dope and clean, man. I had a mountain bike before and it really didn't get that much use because honestly I wasn't very comfortable on it. Um, it was a 29er, it was a big it was a big mountain bike. But you know, I just I just grew up riding like BMX bikes and stuff like that. So uh, when it was time to go bike riding, I wasn't always thrilled about, you know, riding that mountain bike that I had. So I went out to the bike store this week and I copped that bike. So I had I have, I have a bunch of fun on it and it's good exercise. So I'm gonna be hitting up that bike a lot more. Now we're gonna get to some new pickups that I've gotten recently. Um, recently on the retro tip, there hasn't really been a lot of stuff that I've really been feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like there hasn't been a lot of necessarily heat that I'm just like yo I, I gotta get that you know what I mean so but I've been laying a little low with sneakers but I have cop sneakers just you know nothing nothing too crazy so what I got here is uh, a pair of Vans right I rock with Vans you know a lot some Vans are like one of those things you either you love them or you hate them so these are the old school and um these are a super, super clean shoe. Now these aren't DS because I, when I bought them, I just, I never had a pair of Vans before, so I wanted to feel how they felt, you know what I mean? So I got them and there's like different kinds, right? So you have the regular Van, which is like 60 bucks, and then you have a, the other one, which is the, the Ultra Pro, which is the same shoe, but it has a different uh, cushioning system and it's like 10 bucks more. You see here it says Ultra ultra Cush Light. So I would definitely recommend you guys spend the extra 10 bucks and get the Ultra Cush Light. You know what I mean? Because the insole is just, it just feels good. You know what I mean? And you gotta have comfort on, on your feet. You can't be walking around with sore feet. If you get the ones without it, you will have sore feet. If you rock Chuck All Stars, you will also have sore feet because those are flat and they hurt. And um, but these are these are definitely a dope shoe for the summertime. You could rock these with shorts. You could rock these with pants. And they only sixty bucks. You know what I mean? Or seventy. These are seventy. So if they get messed up, if they get dirty, you could just chuck them. And you know what I mean? You could just get another pair. Also, the dude, the manager at the van store he had a pair of vans that was completely demolished all over the place and I, I was looking at his shoes you know we were talking about him he was like yeah man I've traveled all over the world in these shoes you know I've you know they've been to me through multiple cities and you know all these stories that he had just in that one pair of shoes so you know I thought that was dope so yeah, you could definitely beat these up All right, got another thing of Vans, another Vans pickup. These are gonna be the uh, the checkered. Okay, so these are gonna be the checkered authentic pros. 
Now these are not for everybody. Just let you guys know that. Not everybody can rock these. I know, because as soon as I wore them, my homeboy was looking at me like, yo, them shoes are ugly as fuck. <laughs> but whatever. I like, I like things to be, you know, a little weird sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So you can see I wore these once. Only really once. And they get dirty fast, bro. But I wore these once. These are the Vans right here. And it's another dope low top shoe. Where, you know, wears really good with pants and shorts. And I also got the Ultra Kush Light version of these. Paid a little extra just to have comfort on my feet. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be rocking these until I get bored of them or, you know, until I beat them up or whatever. Other things uh, I picked up. Um, recently I saw like a wave on Instagram of like retro clothing and things like that. So like when I was, you know, in high school or whatever, um, there was brands out there that were just like really big, you know what I mean? Like uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Nautica, uh, you know, Polo, and you know, we would, we would, you know, go after those, that brand, wear that brand, and it was just something dope, you know? Like if you got a Tommy jacket, it was it was fly, you know what I'm saying? If you had a pair of Tommy jeans with the flag on the black on the back, it was dope. So I saw like a, you know like a wave going on on Instagram, of everybody bringing back that retro vibe. So there is a outlet here by my house that had all Tommy stuff. So when I went in there, they had a 40% off sale, and I said, Yo, this summer I'm bringing back Tommy. You know what I mean? For me, at least. So I I got some some stuff I want to show you guys real quick that I got. So I got this uh, this Tommy duffel bag right here. So you know you could put shoes in here. You could use it as a gym bag. You could use it um, just have it in your trunk for a change of clothes. You know what I mean? Like at my job, I gotta wear a uniform, and you know sometimes I might get a call. Hey, as soon as you get out of work, we're at happy hour. Meet us here, and I. I'm dressed in my freaking uniform and I don't have any clothes on my truck. And I live an hour away from my job. So it's not like I could just drive home, get dressed, come back, it's a mission. So it's always good to have a duffel bag in your car with some clean clothes, some clean clicks that you could just go and switch it up. So I got that duffel bag. Also, to match that duffel bag, I got this right here. This is a hill figure hat. So I like this hat, man. This shit, this shit is fly right here. I'm gonna be rocking that. You know what I mean? Another pickup I got was this Tommy shirt. Now this is like embroidered right here. You know what I mean? This ain't that iron on. So none of that little little V-neck right here. So you know I'll be out rocking these. You know, I might throw this hat on and some bread ones, you know what I mean? So, I'll be out there looking bright, you know what I'm saying? When I'm out there in the happy hour, talking to your mother, talking to your baby mama, talking to your girlfriend, she's telling me that she's single, but, yeah, that, that's my aim. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, the polo I got right here. This is also embroidered. And these were all 40% off the original price, so I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. I think I paid 25 for that shirt. I paid something like uh, 13 bucks for the hat, and I think I paid almost 25 or 30 bucks for the duffel bag. So all in all, you know, I got a lot of stuff for my money, and I'm super happy with it. Also, I got the Macho Man Randy Savage graphic tee here. And these, man, you could just pick these up at Walmart, bro. Seven bucks, man. You know what I'm saying? If you if you need a, a tee for the night, you know, you haven't done your laundry, you just gotta go and get something, something right, right quick. You know, Walmart's open 24 seven. Go in there and cop you a little shirt for seven bucks, man. You know, pull it off with a hat, and you're gonna be all right. But, all right, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that play button. If you like the content, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. God bless you. Good night.